Magandang buhay! Good day, Grade 8 BIS learners who are watching now. I am your science teacher, Ma'am Winnie Kayana. I am very excited to bring you today's lesson in Grade 8 Science. So what are you waiting for? Sit back, relax, and join us as we tackle about Earthquake or Seismic Waves We are now on quarter 2, week 4 Explain how earthquake waves provide information about the interior of the earth Now, get your pen paper, and activity sheet. Be sure you have already eaten your meal as we go through our discussion. Are you ready now for today's lesson? That's great! But before I introduce you to our topic, let's have a short review of the previous lesson which is about earthquake intensity and magnitude. Intensity measures the strength of shaking produced by the earthquake at a certain location. It is determined from effects on people, human structures, and the natural environment. While magnitude measures the energy release at the source of the earthquake. It is determined from measurements on seismograph. Now, we are done with our review. And to test your prior knowledge in today's lesson, let's try to answer the following questions by choosing your prepared answer. Are you now ready? Let us start! People choice Question number one What is the main cause of seismic waves? Letter A, Typhoon Letter B, Earthquake Letter C, Thunder Or Letter D, Traffic The correct answer is Letter B, Earthquake Question number 2 It is the study of seismic waves and earthquakes Letter A, Volcanology Letter B, Seismicology Letter C, Seismology Or Letter D, Ecology The correct answer is Letter C, Seismology Question number 3 What type of wave is P wave? Letter A, Ultrasonic Letter B, Transverse Letter C, Electromagnetic or letter D longitudinal. The correct answer is letter D longitudinal. Question number four. It is spread outward from the epicenter to the Earth's surface, similar to the ripples on a pond. Letter A. Surface waves. Letter B, body waves. Letter C, primary wave. Or letter D, secondary wave. The correct answer is letter A, surface waves. Last question, number 5. Which of the following waves travel the fastest? and are detected first in the seismic station. Letter A, surface. Letter B, lob. Letter C, primary. Or letter D, secondary. The correct answer is letter C, primary. Did you get the correct answers? I guess you are now ready for today's lesson. Today, I will discuss to you the earthquake waves or seismic waves. 
I hope that we will be able to achieve our objectives for today. End of the lesson, you are expected to Number 1. Identify the different types of seismic waves. Number 2. Recognize the motion caused by the different types of seismic waves. Number 3. Describe the different characteristics of the Earth's layers that can be traveled by seismic waves. And number 4. Explain how earthquake waves provide information about the interior of the Earth. Earthquakes occur within the Earth's crust along faults that suddenly release large amounts of energy that have built up over a long period of time. The shaking during an earthquake is caused by seismic waves. Seismic waves are generated when rock within the crust breaks, producing a tremendous amount of energy. The energy release moves out in all directions as waves. Much like rifles radiating outward when you drop a pebble in a pond. The study of seismic waves and earthquakes is called seismology, which is a branch of geophysics. Seismographs are instruments used to record the motion of the ground shaking during an earthquake. They are installed in the ground throughout the world and operated as part of a seismographic network. There are two types of seismic waves. These are the body waves and the surface waves. Again, the two types of seismic waves are the body waves and the surface waves. The body waves has two types, the primary waves or the P waves and the secondary waves or the S waves. While for the surface waves, its two kinds are the lab waves or the L waves and the Rayleigh waves or the R waves. The body waves travel through the interior of the earth. These waves are of higher frequency than surface waves. One of the types of body waves is the primary wave or the P waves. These are the fastest kind of seismic waves and consequently the place to arrive at a seismic station and recorded in the seismograph. The primary waves or P waves are also known as compressional or longitudinal waves because of the pushing and pulling they do. Another types of body wave is the secondary wave or the S waves. These are waves that arrive second after P waves are being detected in the seismic station and recorded in the seismograph. The secondary wave or S waves are slower than P waves and can only move through solid wax, not through any liquid medium. Secondary wave is also known as transverse wave. The surface waves travel only through the crust. These are of lower frequency than body waves and are easily distinguished 
on a seismograph. One of the types of surface wave is the lab wave. Augustus Edward Holub is a British geophysicist and mathematician who discovered a major type of seismic waves that was subsequently named for him, which is the lab wave. The lab wave is the pasta surface wave and moves the ground from side to side. Lab waves produce entirely horizontal motion. It can travel a velocity of 4 km per second and create more shaking. The second type of surface wave is the Rayleigh wave or the R wave. Lord Rayleigh is a British physicist who first mathematically demonstrated their existence. Rayleigh waves travel along the free surface of an elastic solid such as the Earth. The Rayleigh waves rolls along the ground just like a wave rolls across a lake or an ocean. Most of the trembling felt from an earthquake is due to this wave, which can be much larger than the other waves. For our short activity, identify each illustration as to what types of waves. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Go! Okay, let's check your answer. For illustration number one, the correct answer is P wave. For number two, the correct answer is S wave. And for number three, the correct answer is surface wave. The different types of seismic waves can tell us more about the nature of the Earth's interior. By tracking seismic waves, scientists have learned what makes up the Earth's interior. P waves slow down at the mantle core boundary, so we know the outer core is less than rigid than the mantle. S waves disappear at the mantle core boundary, so the outer core is liquid. Well, that's all for today, grade 8 learners. We are finally done with our discussion. So I guess you are now ready to take the quiz. Kindly prepare any sheet of paper for our evaluation. Directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Question number one. What wave causes earthquake to occur? Letter A, radio. Letter B, seismic. Letter C, electromagnetic. Or letter D, sound. The correct answer is letter B, seismic. Question number two. Which type of wave vibrates parallel to the direction and travels in a push-pull motion? Letter A, primary. Letter B, love. Letter C, surface or letter D secondary the correct answer is letter A primary question number three which of the following statements best describes primary wave letter A it travels to a vacuum 
Letter B. It causes rock particles to vibrate. Letter C. It is the slowest, largest, and causes the most destruction. And letter D. It travels the fastest and causes rock material to move back and forth. The correct answer is letter D. It travels the fastest and causes rock material to move back and forth. Question number four. What does P in a P wave stands for? Letter A. Partial. Letter B. Perpendicular. Letter C. Primary. Or letter D. Parallel. The correct answer is letter C. Primary. Last question for number 5. What kind of seismic wave arrives last at the seismic station? Letter A, primary. Letter B, love. Letter C, surface. Letter D, secondary. The correct answer is letter C. Surface. Thank you so much for watching and see you at next session. Again, I am Mam Winnie Kayana, your science teacher, saying Strive for progress, not perfection. God bless us all!